Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dr. Woods. And if you can hear the commotion in the background, uh, I came in the room here and shut the door. We're having a repass from a funeral right now. I've got on my apron, as you can tell. Uh, I keep my kitchen apron at the church and I'll tell you why. Uh, a long time ago, years ago, part of my ministry became uh, just uh, serving people. I know, it sounds crazy. Like, juice is my big thing. I walk around with pictures of juice. I make sure everybody that's eating gets juice. I also help distribute plates when people need plates. And then at the same time, I um, pick up plates, fill up the trash, just kind of do the whole waiter kind of table service type thing. And a lot of times I get this same comment. I've never seen a pastor serve. Now, I wanted to be snide and say, well, you've never seen a pastor then, because clearly aren't we called to be servants? Or do we think we can only serve when it's convenient? Or do we only think we can be a part of something when we're on the dais and we're part of all this pomp and circumstance? But you know what? Uh, times have changed. And people don't want to see the pastor as the coach anymore. People want to see the pastor as the quarterback. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, the coach, they get to stand on the sidelines and they get to call the plays and they just uh, can wear nice suits and walk up and down. That's different than the quarterback. See, the quarterback gets to call plays too. But the difference is they're out on the field with the players. They get muddy with the players. They get rained on with the players. They get hit with the players. And when people begin to see that you have a vested interest in their welfare enough that you're willing to serve with them side by side, now you're moving to church growth. Now you're sending a different message as a leader. So I know what she meant when she said, I've never seen a pastor serve. And yes, it's kind of flat, a flattering compliment, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those sad compliments, like shouldn't all pastors be serving? So I wanna encourage you to take the robe off and put the apron on one day and uh, get in the kitchen, help some people around, and you will be surprised at just how it will change people's perspective of you and not just you of what it means to be a pastor as a whole. So that's pretty much my message, uh, servanthood. And don't be surprised, you might like it. I love it. I get to laugh with people, crack jokes. Uh, one of the best part of my day sometimes. So don't be surprised if you like it. Until next time, this is Dr. Woods. Take care. Mm -hmm.